right, today I want to talk about a very special product um, that I've been working on for, I don't know, years now. Um, in its early incarnation, it was called the EMP Storm. Uh, basically a device that you hook to your breaker panel and that when certain conditions occur on the power lines, it would trip your main breaker of your house to disconnect you from the utility company, which I think is a very important thing to do, um, either for a coronal mass ejection or uh, a nuclear EMP. The idea being that, let's say in the case of an EMP, you get this detonation, causes big electromagnetic disturbance, and that energy couples onto the power lines, and in the late stage event, that energy can drive right from the power lines into your home and damage lots of things. And really the only way to protect it against that is to open the breaker, all right, to trip the breaker. You can't really shunt that energy away with a surge protection device. There's just too much energy for too long a time. It would just burn up the surge protection device. Doesn't really matter which one you have. So, so I started thinking, okay, well, how do you open the main breaker? And I came up with various ideas, different ways of doing that. Um, the, the way that I've ultimately ended up with um, is, I'll show you today with this prototype, um, but it's to physically use a, a mechanical actuator to drive the breaker open, to trip the breaker manually. And so what I've done is I've developed a little box, um, it's called the DEF CON Home Switch. Now this is just a prototype, so we don't have the fancy labels or any of that on it yet. But the idea is it has a, a power cord that would wire either directly into a breaker, like a standard surge protection device, or you could just plug it into a nearby outlet, right? You have the option either way. In this case, I've just got it plugged into an outlet. And then the other connector goes to this little linear actuator, right? And I'll show you this um, on an actual breaker panel here as the second part of this video. Um, but this little actuator will drive out and trip the breaker under certain conditions. Well, what conditions are those? Well, the, the home switch really activates on a couple different conditions. The first is if you get a very powerful EMP type event, like an E1, you know, the big 20 nanosecond big pulse that occurs, it will send a signal to the actuator to trip your breaker, all right? However, like in a solar CME, there is no E1 event. There's only this late stage E3-like event. And so that's what happens is the voltage on the power line sort of slowly rises over time. And when it gets too high, of course, it can cause damage. So this box will also monitor the incoming power feed. And when it gets above a certain threshold, which is just above nominal a little bit, it will also drive the breaker and uh, drive the actuator and trip the breaker. So in either of those events, the E1 from an EMP or the E3 from either an EMP or, or a solar CME, you can uh, automatically trip the breaker. Whether you're there or not, it will just automatically detect it and trip the breaker. All right, now we'll talk about the details of all that, how you reset the device and all that kind of stuff. Um, but it's a unique, I think it's a very unique product. I don't, I'm not sure of any other product out there that will do this for you. Specifically made for EMP and CME protection. Um, we tried to do it very general. Again, this is just a prototype, but we tried to do it very general. So lots of people with lots of different kinds of panels can still use it. And again, I'll show you how that is actually mounted on the panel here uh, for our prototype in just a minute. All right, so this system, to be clear, is really meant for E1 and E3 detection and then tripping the breaker. You would also want to couple it with a good quality surge protection device. So like this is one of the, the first surge uh, FS140s from Siemens, but there are other good quality surge protection devices out there. This protects you, you know, from those brief transients that come in that get in to try and get into the house through the utility company feed this will kick on and try and drain that energy away. So that protects from like an E1, E2 from an EMP or a nearby lightning strike or something like that. And it's still important to have a good surge protector on your breaker panel. This small box does not have those surge protection devices in it. It's more of a detection slash tripping function, right? It detects a bad event happens and then it trips your breaker for you. But it's not fast enough. You can't mechanically drive an actuator fast enough to trip in time for you know, some of these really fast events that come down the power lines. And that's why you want to have a surge protection device also connected to the breaker panel. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and for the second part of this video, I'm going to go ahead and set this up on a breaker panel. I'll zoom in and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so I've gone ahead and set up a little demonstration here. Uh, I've got a breaker panel and I have just mounted the detection tripping electronics here at the back. But normally, of course, this would mount to the wall beside the panel. And again, it has a power feed that can either plug into just an outlet or it can wire into one of the breakers on the panel. And then I have the linear actuator, and I just have it uh, very simply mounted right now here next to the main breaker. The final unit uh, will be more securely mounted, so kindly overlook that if you would, but this shows its general positioning of where it will end up. Uh, and then it has this end effector which presses up against this main breaker. In this case, this is a 200 amp breaker. All right, so 
The way this would work is if you get an anomalous condition on the power feed, which could be uh, an overvoltage condition, let's say from a CME, it would detect it and it would drive the linear actuator, um, and which would then push this breaker and open it up, all right, disconnecting you from the utility feed. Likewise, if you get a big pulse, like E1 of an EMP, it would also detect it and do the same thing. Okay, so we could certainly do that for the demo. We could use a pulser or we could drive up the voltage and it would work. But I thought it might be nice to show how these switches also help you that are mounted on the front of the box, all right? There's two switches. There's a direction switch, which really just controls which way the linear actuator moves when an event occurs, okay? So maybe you wanna push, or maybe in your case, the way the breaker panel's arranged, you need to pull, you could change the direction that this thing operates, all right? So, and then the second button is the manual activation button, which enables you to manually drive this linear actuator without having to have an event occur. Now, why is that helpful? Well, it's helpful if you wanna properly align your system, make sure everything's working right. So when you're first setting it up, that's very helpful. Also, when you go to do a reset, we'll show that you really need these buttons to reset the system after you've tripped the breaker, all right? So what we're gonna go ahead and do is do a quick demo here, just showing how uh, the system operates and rather than over voltage it and stuff, I'm just gonna use the manual buttons to show how those work, all right? So I set the direction switch and then I press the manual activation and what you'll see linear actuator will drive this out and trip the main breaker. Now it will shift a little bit because I don't have a great mounting system right now, but again, kindly overlook that. This is just a prototype. The final system will be more secure. All right, so let's give it a shot and see what happens here. I'll go ahead and push the manual activation button and you can see the actuator drives it out and trips that main breaker. Now, once the main breaker trips, of course, everything in the house is out of power, including this unit. So this unit right now is not wired. This panel is not wired up to, to, you know, to utility power. So it still shows it being alive. But in the real system, this system would now go out. The light would turn out and everything would be dead. Okay. So the logical question then is, well, how do I reset my breaker? I've got this thing in the way. I can't reset my breaker and I can't drive it manually because everything's going to be off. And so what we've done is we've got a very simple way of resetting it. There's a little retaining pin that you just pop up out the, of the end of this linear actually just a little pin that comes out. And then you can manually push the end effector back in position, okay? So you just kind of get this and push it back in position. You can see the little arm of the actuator poking out the end now. And then you can manually reset the breaker because there's a space in here now. So you go ahead and manually reset your breaker. So now everything comes back alive. The house is back alive. This unit will be back on and back to being functional, all right? So what I do is I change the direction and I can drive the actuator back to its reset position, all right? I go ahead and drive it back. You see the little arm retreats back in, fully resets. And once it's fully reset, I can push back in the pin, this retaining pin, to hold it all back together. And I'm right back to where I started. The actuator is properly aligned. The end effector is up against the breaker. Everything's ready to go. The only thing I need to remember to do is to push this back over to the driving out. And again, the label will show which way's in and out and all that. All right, and then we're right back to where we need to be. We're ready to detect the next event, okay? So that shows how the system generally operates as well as how you would reset it following an event that tripped the main breaker. All right, so I hope this was helpful. Again, please keep in mind, this is just a prototype. The final product be a little bit slicker, a little bit more secure, but hopefully you get the idea of how the unit will detect, you know, either a very rapid pulse like an E1 or an overvoltage condition of an E3 or a CME, and it will then trip your main breaker and disconnect you from your utility power feed, which again is very important to either of those conditions to keep that energy from coming into your house. All right, thanks again. I hope this was really helpful.